in this lecture we are going to see how auth middleware works so the goal of this lecture is to create a me api so it will be slash me and it will return the logged in user so the logged in user will be based on the auth token that we will send in the headers of any request so remember the auth token that we have like used in the login so that our token we will be sending it in the headers of any request and from that our token we will be determining which user is logged in so for that uh, we have to create an auth middleware so i have created a dummy middleware here with a boilerplate code and uh, also one more thing i have created one exception here which is unauthorized exception so it has the status code of 401 so this error we will be throwing when there is when the user is not authorized and he is trying to access some resources or the routes which are uh, authorization protected or maybe you can say login protected so that's how it will work so let's go into the auth.ts middleware and start working here so there are a couple of steps involved so first is extract the token from header and second if token is not present through an error of unauthorized third step will be if the token is present comma verify that token and extract the payload and fourth step will be to get the user from the payload A fifth step will be to attach the user to the current request object so so first step will be extract the token from the header so let's do this so the way we are going to do is const uh, token is equal to we will say request dot headers dot uh, authorization so we will be sending the token inside the authorization key in the headers so we will get the token if token is not present so the second step is if token is not present through an error of unauthorized so we will say if there is not any token so this uh, will convert it into truthy or falsy value so if token is null or undefined it will be converted into false and this uh, symbol will convert into true so if token is not present we will say next so we have to call next here because we are not wrapping this auth middleware inside the error handler so we will say next new unauthorized exception and the message will be unauthorized and the error code will be error code dot unauthorized so if token is not present we have sent the unauthorized exception now third step is if token is present verify that token and extract the payload so first to verify the token we have to import json web token library so import everything as jwt from uh, json web token so we will say const payload is equal to jwt dot verify and verify the first argument will be the token that we'll get from the header and the second argument will be the jwt secret which we have like set in the environment variables so we have the payload and uh, this uh, step can throw an unwanted exception or the runtime exception so we have to wrap it inside the try catch and if there is any error this means the token is malformed or like not valid so we will again uh, throw that unauthorized exception error and now we will move all this code inside the try block okay so we got the payload now we have to get the user from the payload so we will say const user is equal to and we will say 
await prisma client dot uh, user dot find first and inside find first you will say where id is equal to payload dot user id so remember inside the payload we have uh, given this payload user id so we are getting the user id from that payload so it's giving an error because the payload is not defined so we will say it is of type user id of type uh, and the user will be user id will be of type number so i guess it will work and this verify this verify doesn't give any sort of uh, that what you can say the type so maybe you can say as any as of now and remove this type from here so the payload can be of type any and it will like get you rid of this error so we have this user now check if the user is there or not so if not user then we will be again sorry we will be again sending this exception throwing this exception which is an authorized exception and if the user is present we have to attach that user to the current request so request dot user is equal to user now you can see that it's giving an error because the express request object does not have any such such key user so we have to extend that request object to attach that request sorry user key so for that inside the source directory we will create another directory which will be types and here we will be store we will be storing our override overridden types so let's create an extra file here for express express.d.ts and all the types are like uh, we have to give the extension as d.ts now we will say declare module express and here it will be declare and here inside the express module there is an interface we will say export interface request and inside that request we have a user which will be of type user and this user will be important from prisma client and one more thing we have to import the express as well here import express not like this yeah so import express from express that's how like we define the type override so in the module express there is an interface which is request and on that uh, request interface we want to attach one extra type which is the user type so now if you go into the middleware you can see that the error is gone okay so and after this we have to call the next because we want to pass the control to the next controller so this is how the auth middleware is designed so if there will be any error uh, we will come back and change here now in the controllers we will define a me controller here so we will say let's copy this and uh, get, let's get rid of this and we will say me and in the request dot response dot json we will simply say uh, request dot user so in the auth middleware we have assigned that user to the request object so in the me api we can directly send the user from that request now let's define the route here and here we are going to say auth routes dot get it will be a me api and inside the me api the middleware will be auth middleware and the handler will be the controller will be inside the error handler and me so that how it works so it's fine let's give it a try in the postman let's see if the server is working or not yeah server is working let's create a separate request and add request which will be me and the url will be auth slash me let's hit send and you can see that the messages are unauthorized because we are not sending any uh, header so in the key we will say authorization and in the value we will be sending any token so first let's send any random token and you can see it's still giving an unauthorized error so let's go to the login and fetch one token from there so let's hit send it's an incorrect password so i suppose it was abc123 okay so we have this token here let's grab this token 
go to the mean and we have attached this token here now let's hit send okay now you can see that we have the current logged in user so it's working fine so that's how auth middleware works so let's recap this we have uh, designed auth middleware where we are first extracting the token from the headers inside this authorization key and if the token is not present we are simply throwing an exception of unauthorized now uh, once we have the token we will verify it whether it's valid or not if the token is not valid we are again throwing that unauthorized exception and after that once the token is verified we are extracting the user from the payload so in the when we are signing the token we have given the user id as a payload then we are extracting the user and if the user is also not present then on, then it means that uh, the the request is unauthorized so we are again simply throwing that exception and if everything works fine we are simply assigning that user to the request and we are moving forward from here and inside the controller we have simply created a me controller where we are simply throwing request dot user so this is how auth uh, middleware works now in the next lecture we will see how we can create the role based middlewares as well so for example if the user has had admin role then only he is allowed to access some resources so in the upcoming lectures we will see that